paint a little bit of a pine tree going on here too. We got a huge pine tree that comes from this side on the right of this canvas. Just make it like a little palm tree would. <laughs> All right, yeah, make some of these big, gigantic, you know, details as big as you can get. That guy kind of fade in there a little bit. Just keep your script liner brush going. Now that I have you all on, on a video, uh, you can kind of see my process on how I'm painting it. Okay. Oh, and just a reminder, I'm also putting in the, the, the uh, one inch brush if you would kind of zoom over here. You'll see my paint set if you, I'm trying to uh, get my camera kind of focused. Okay, you can see my studio and how I paint. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. You can see my painting. I'm just gonna zoom in right here. about right over here like so it's gonna crop it off a little but that's okay because we're about to wrap this painting up in a little bit here I always wanted to do something like this Over here, you gotta be very careful on your dark colors, okay? I'm trying to. Yeah, no one likes to be told what to do with their fine art, but that's okay. Because I'm here to kind of solve that problem a little bit. Kind of give you guys some, you know, detailistic feedback on what to do. Uh, so, I mean, if you have. Uh, if you have a, like, a lot of pictures right here. Just gonna fix them up so we can kind of paint in, you know, that that one, you know, big tree I've been telling you guys about, you know, that tree that just makes you want to go, ooh and ah, and it makes you want to go, mwah, uh, about it too. It, it'll save you a lot of agony to it all. And of course, you also want to go into your palette too, and you want to make a little finer adjustments. Maybe make a branch that goes like this. Make stuff stand out a bit. I mean, this is not the African Plains. Now, this is my backyard, okay? This is a picture that I'm painting from my heart, as far as what I captured on the camera. Let's make this a little bit more cozy too. Okay, let's add just a little more of this. I'm just adding the Studio One uh, 71 paint. It's called um, Oreo Magenta. It's bought from Hobby Lobby. It's pretty good paint to use if you want to get into the arts. 
Or if you can't get it open, oh well, just use what you've got. <laughs> Moving on. What you want to do is you just got to try get this paint where you need it to be so it's wet, slick, and it's in the background, okay? You don't want anything in the foreground because that would be, that would be terrible, okay? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Go back into the purple. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, make sure it's wet first. And just a tiny little bit more. And make your brush dance a little. Remember, we're doing the sponge painting technique texture, okay guys? Make your brushes so that they're not in one little place here. A little sticks and twigs here and there indicate where the branches are going to go. Okay, and now are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to turn on my other camera here. Because <laughs> I want you to experience this new technique I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> well, okay guys, welcome back here. It's a great pleasure to be here today and I'm going to show you and demonstrate uh, how to paint you know, the biggest thing you've all been waiting for. Yep, it's called the tree and we're going to use this fan brush here. Oh, you can see that, right? Yep. See this fan brush right here? Yep, see it? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, now go ahead here. We're going to take our fan brush and we're going to put it right into our um, purple and we're just going to blend those dark colors together. Take a spray at it. How are we doing here? Okay, all right. So we're basically going to do a big tree and if you're going to do it, ooh, pray, pray to God that this goes well. Okay, that worked out swell. Huh. I'm just going to make that tree just a little bit darker down to here. And, don't, and just remember now, it doesn't need to be like any photograph, it could be your own, okay? Just remember, you got to use the right amount of brushes. I have two cameras rolling here, so just to be sure I get one on my mobile phone and my other one on my other, on my computer. We're not worried uh, so much about detail yet, we're just worried about getting the basic shape of the tree in here. Okay, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to, yep, that's right. You should really start from, you know, the center of the tree and work outward. It'll make your tree more expressive to look at. But, now you need to have a lot of water to do that. <laughs> it'll make your paint flow oh so naturally, it'll, it'll flow like water. And that's what we want, right? We want water, watery paint. It'll make your acrylics more expressive. And then, okay, this too. Don't worry, this is not a, a nightmarish kind of thing. And you can also use your fan brush too and go.
correct that by using your, your little um, scrap liner brush. Make sure it's really wet too. <laughs> How are we doing on the time here? We are doing just a okay. <laughs> 